Hey, LA, thanks for doing this. Uh, just wanted to ask about the Christmas holidays. Were you able to go home back to Canada? Yes, at first um, I wasn't sure that I was able to go home, um, but um, Canada did lift their um, international travel, um, especially because I'm a resident. So I was able to go home, so I was excited. And what was that like? I know you're happy to see your family and spend the holidays with them, but what was it like having to always keep COVID and protocol at the back of your mind? Um, well, the protocols for Canada is that if you are coming from international, you have to quarantine. So I was at home um, with my family the whole time. Greg, go ahead, and then we'll go to Matt. Hey, Leticia, I was just curious, how do you guys handle this this schedule change from going from Ole Miss to Florida? When did you guys find out about that? And how much of a curveball is that having to, you know, switch your preparation? Um, I think we found out um, on Sunday. What was it, Monday? Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. Um, I mean, it happens. Um, coach told us in the beginning of the season there'd be a lot of changes and we're going to have to be adaptable. Um, and she used the word pivot. So, uh, I mean, it's tough because you're thinking about one opponent and then it switches to another. But like Coach, a, coach said, we just pivot from there. Matt Dell? Hey, Leticia. Uh, I'm just curious, kind of going off that. What's it been like just with the schedule this year? You guys played five games in a short amount of time, kind of took a break, played a game, now another long break. Has it been kind of hard to get a rhythm or are you guys just kind of going with the flow? I mean, how's that working for you guys? Uh, I mean, it's tough, but in practice, it's, it feels like a game because we go so hard. Um, the practice players do a great job of simulating game situations. So it really feels like we have a game every single day. Um, but when it comes to scheduling, I just feel like our team is just really blessed and we just take that in consideration because um, we've been going on for a long stretch, longer stretch than a lot of other teams. So um, even though when it gets hard, we just think of how blessed we are. David? LA, y'all haven't played since the 17th uh, and now this is a conference game. So any worry about rust, you know, from the layoff? Uh, no, like I said, every practice is like a game simulation. Um, because we go so hard. So I think we're going to be ready. Anything else? For, oh, Matt Dow, go ahead. Leticia, it's been such a crazy year. Uh, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I just want to know, how would you describe 2020? Wow, that's a great question. Um, I would say it's a year of adaptability. And it's just with everything going on, you have to adapt to so many different things. Um, just scheduling, just... Um, new protocols every day and just being um, able to pivot, like I said, um, when it comes to basketball, when it comes to just your own personal life, um, it's just so much change in the world and, and being able to move on from what's going on and just focus on yourself sometimes. Greg, go ahead. Hey, Leticia, I know you guys are uh, raising some banners ahead of this game. I guess just when you look back at last year, I guess, how much does the, the ending kind of stick with you? How much do you, does that kind of inform how motivated you guys are this year? Yeah, I mean, we always have that at the back of our minds. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate, like I said, you gotta adapt, you gotta move on from it because it is a whole new season. Um, it sucks that we weren't able to finish off last year, but I'm excited for this year and just keep on going what we have going on.